Hi, I'm mm-hmm. Dr. Arshnur from Dr. Arshnur's OIT Institute. Today I'm going to work on some signal words or linking words or the connectors. Actually, signal words or the linking words are the words connecting two sentences mm-hmm. or information together and depict a coherent and logical picture of the patient. Adding information. When we want to add some information along with the previous information, so at that time we use in addition or in addition to. For example, in addition, comma, then we add some information, any sentence. But when we are using in addition to, at that time it will be used in between the sentence. Let's have example. In addition, comma, he was prescribed pain relief medicine. Example for in addition to, he was prescribed antihypertensive drug in addition to sedative. So in this way, you can use adding information to the sentence or your paragraph. Second is comparing and contrasting. Here we use however or whereas when we are comparing something or we are contrasting something. For example, however, she had regular physiotherapy sessions and exercises. Full stop. So one thing very important, however, will be used in the beginning of a sentence. Here we use that she had regular physiotherapy sessions and exercises. Full stop. However, she showed little progress. Now, how whereas is used? She was admitted to the hospital with severe pain, comma, whereas she could talk normally or she could express herself normally. Now come with next. It is expressing results, cause or effects. Here the connectors used are as a result of, owing to, therefore, hence, Consequently, let's have some examples. She responded well to the treatment. Consequently, she was discharged from the hospital. Second example, she had severe pain. Therefore, she was referred to a hospital. So in this way, we can use these expressing results, cause and effect connectors as a result of owing to, therefore, hands and consequently. Now come with the last one that is timing and sequence. It is again very important. Here the connectors used are currently, prior to, postoperatively, on admission. So these are showing on that time particularly or say at this time. This is showing time. For example, currently. Currently she is taking antihypertensive anti-diabetic drugs. So these are showing that at present she is taking all these medicines. Second is prior to. So prior to means when any action is taking place before something else. So at that time we use prior to. It may be prior to the surgery, prior to medicine. So I am giving an example here. She was advised to take antacid prior to her breakfast. So in this case, we are saying that the doctor is advising the patient to take antacids before her breakfast. Or we can use any action also. She was referred to a dietitian prior her discharge. Now come with another that is post-operatively. Usually this is used in the second paragraph for writing. Post-operatively she showed significant signs of improvement. In this way we can use all these connectors in the writing of uh, OET. And sometimes we can use this in the speaking part also. Happy learning.
If you like these, do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you should be able to get the latest videos uploaded on YouTube. Happy learning. Stay healthy and blessed. Thank you so much for watching this.